make sure that a narcissist wants to avoid you. If their swings and jabs have nowhere to fall, the narcissist will want to avoid you. I have 10 ways on how to prevent narcissists from entering your life. 10. Set yourself concrete rules and stick to them. If you have consumed alcohol or are sick, you should never talk or text with a narcissist. You will always need to have a clear head when dealing with them. Do not communicate between the hours of 9 p.m. and 9 a.m. Being tired can be nearly as bad as being drunk. Allow yourself to never be alone with a narcissist, so you will always have a witness to any bad behavior. Lies about you will be harder to spread. The person with you can assist you in getting out of the conversation if needed, or they can remind you to be strong if you are having a weak moment and get emotional. The rules you make for yourself must be realistic. 9. Let yourself grieve. All of the aforementioned steps will not cure your wounded heart, but they will change your actions and create new dynamics to help you prevent relapsing. Grief is a long and delicate process that comes and goes, sometimes for years, to mend the human heart. Spend some time honoring your grief by digging beneath your anger to uncover the sadness. Recognize the process of returning home as you console yourself. Feel glad for the emotions you had to hold in for years, even though they were tough. They can finally surface now that you're with someone who loves and accepts you for who you are. 8. Acknowledge your jealousy most narcissists replace their ex-partners within weeks, if not days, following their breakup, usually from a stable they've kept filled throughout your relationship. They must always have a source of energy to feed on. They always make certain that their supply is safe. You can feel that you're just a convenient arrangement that ended when you stopped taking abuse because they struggle with healthy attachment and true feelings of connection. Whatever they catch next will be a better business transaction. When you're feeling envious, remind yourself that those poor individuals are getting set up the same way you were and will eventually suffer. Convert your enmity toward them into compassion. 7. Prioritize your pleasure Many problematic relationships rely on sex because connection and emotional fulfillment are unavailable according to research. Because they are want junkies, narcissists love to use sex as a power weapon. So they keep your desire alive by distributing sexual affection according to their own power agenda. So even if your relationship was hot, you'll still desire them sexually. It's simply a fact, what should you do? Choose a high quality vibrator. Your emotional vampire of an ex isn't any more devoid of human love empathy or compassion than that piece of plastic is. 6. Focus on self-love Because one of the narcissist's strategies is to put others down in order to elevate themselves, it's unlikely that you never received any compliments, support, or appreciation after the seduction phase ended. You could have also been subjected to verbal abuse because narcissists want you to be insecure. Feeling confident about yourself is a foreign concept to you right now. After being gaslighted for so long, you may have lost faith in your own judgment. Where can I start to recover from all of this? There are therapists, self-help programs, and support groups that can assist you in focusing on self-love, which is what you need to practice to rebuild your self-esteem after a breakup. Find a regular meetup with a group of people who are working on the same project. Enhance your sense of self-worth. Accept that you are deserving of greater. Take a look at what you're willing to put up with. It will be simple if you begin to love yourself. A narcissist places you in a vulnerable position. I'm reliant on them, and it is precisely what they desire. Begin by investing all your efforts in yourself. Every day, all day. Practice self-care. Take away all of their access to you. Seek help. Start learning about narcissism. 
it will make you realize what you're dealing with. 5. Don't blame yourself. You probably feel terrible that you let the wool over your eyes for so long. Now that you can see your ex for the narcissist they were and see how damaging the patterns you engaged in for so long were. You can be ashamed of yourself for being naive, dumb, or gullible. Especially if you're with family or friends who were tuned in long before you were. Allow yourself some leeway. You're only human, and narcissists are great at seduction. Maybe you have some codependency and self-esteem issues that you should look and when you're in a healthier place. But for now, just forgive yourself. Recognize that your innocence is a virtue. It indicates that you have. Stop believing that you can avoid trouble by intending to surrender everything you own to a psychopath or narcissist. Some predators aren't content until they rape, torture, and kill you. 4. Keep busy Relationships with narcissists are all about power. You don't have it, whereas they do. You scurry around, attempting to normalize everything, but you never achieve because they want you scurrying so they can jerk your chain whenever they want. This sounds awful, and it was, but it kept me occupied. There's a vast, empty gap in your days now that no one is doing. Life has lost its luster. To cope, keep attempting new hobbies and activities, and try to stay in touch with your pals as much as possible. If you have to, stay at home. Meditate to clear your mind. You don't have to look outside for happiness. It can be found within. 3. Find ways to cope with your anxiety. Your nervous system is likely still firing along those lines because your narcissist kept you on edge for months or years. Leaving may also trigger new stresses or fears, exacerbating your anxiety. Furthermore, sex has ceased so you no longer have the dopamine and oxytocin that were keeping you afloat. Yoga, dance, swinging, and other forms of exercise are all beneficial. Do something every day. Whenever you require it, here are some ideas for self-care following a breakup. 2. Avoid trying to rationalize. To keep the peace and justify living with your narcissist, you have to make excuses for their conduct, minimize their abuse, reinterpret their lies, and tiptoe around their self-delusions. You'll start reasoning again when you miss them now, thinking, oh, they're not that horrible. Don't get taken in by it. Remind yourself why you left to avoid being deceived by your narcissistic ex or worse, falling in love with them again. Maintaining zero contact is the best method to accomplish this. Block them on social media and do not call or text them. There is a reason why most experts recommend the no contact rule. We'll go over it again at the conclusion. 1. Stop obsessing You spend a lot of time examining their conduct and character to attempt to make sense of the curveballs they kept tossing at. This compulsive pattern of analysis will continue until you force it to stop after you leave your abusive relationship. Remind yourself that you are no longer concerned about your ex and gently push your mind to focus on something else if you have ideas about what's wrong with him or her. Responsible experts agree that changing a habit takes three months. Narcissists will go to any length to achieve what they desire. They lack compassion and are unable to connect deeply with others, even those closest to them. When a narcissist is abusive, it's sometimes advisable to terminate relations with them. Have you ever thought about why narcissists act and think the way they do? Do you think that a narcissistic person will always remain that way? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video.